You know, doesn't it bug you that every time you log on to your computer, you get an iPlayer looking like this, and every single time that it loads up, you've got to close it down again, and then you're free to get on with your work while it downloads your programs. Well, in this video, I want to show you how you can uh, use the built-in Windows Task Set Scheduler to actually close this down every time uh, every time you log into your machine. Um, so I'll just double check here and start at Run BBC. I want it to run at the startup, and then I want it to immediately minimise them. Uh, you know, once uh, once I've logged on. So I'll go into uh, Windows Command Prompt just to show you how this is going to work now. Uh, type in CMD into the command line, open up CMD, and I'm going to use a built-in Windows command that's perfectly safe, but it's called task kill, task kill, all one word, dot exe, slash im, which is the image name, and the image name, or the name of this file, um, is uh, going to be bbc, iPlayer desktop dot exe. Okay. And now when we hit return on this, we'll notice iPlayer closing down. That's fine. And then the nice thing about iPlayer is that when you close it down, it goes straight down into the taskbar down there. Now, you know, you might be thinking, hey, this is going to be a great application for Microsoft Outlook. Unfortunately that's not the case because with Outlook when you press the close button it just closes the whole program. In iPlayer it minimizes it and that's the difference and that's what we're going to be doing. My phone's is low good. <laughs> okay that was an interesting error message. Okay so yeah with Outlook it's going to close all together with iPlayer. It's going to minimize it, and it's, and it's just that minimizing that we want. And so we can kind of leverage that um, that ability for us to use uh, this task kill command. So the way we're going to do it now is we're going to go into our trusty old task scheduler. So type in task into into the start bar, and it should come up the top there. Task scheduler. And we're going to come in here and we're going to be creating a new basic task and we'll just run it every time we log on to the machine. So come down to Task Schedule Library. You can right click there and click Create Basic Task or come over here and click Create Basic Task. It doesn't really matter. It opens up the same basic task wizard. Okay, let's come on. Load up. There we go. Okay, so give this... Uh, you know, a useful name that you'll recognize next time you uh, you take a look at it. So I'm going to call this iPlayer Minimize. And, um, you know, you don't have to do the description, but you can do. And just say, on oh, no, the Minimizes. Um, BBC iPlayer at Logon. Okay, we can click Next when you've done that. When do we want to? We want it when every time we log in, when I log on. Okay, we can start a program. One that we typed into the command was task kill exe uh, slash im for image name. And then in quotes there we put BBC iPlayer desktop dot exe. And then we can click next on this one. Yes, yep, that's fine. I want those with those arguments, yep. Okay, so I can just, that's perfectly fine. I want this at log on, it's going to, that's, yeah, my account there, which is my videos account, that's fine. And click finish on that one. An error has occurred from minimize. Error message a task or folder with this name already exists. Oh, great. Okay, so I'll finish that then. Oops, close, okay. Yeah, you won't get that, but because I've already got one from uh, when I was testing it earlier, this... Uh... Okay, let's just... 
you know, so when you click finish, it'll come up in there. I play a minimize. And let's just close that. Okay, so right click this and we just want to change a few of its properties before we actually run this. Uh, run only when the user is logged on, that's fine. I don't know why it keeps configuring it. Oh uh, yeah, configure for Windows 7, yep, sorry, no, that's right. Trigger at log on. Okay, let's just edit this trigger. It should be in here, yeah. You can actually delay the task here for 30 minutes, one hour, eight hours. So we actually want what I, the reason I wanted to delay it is because I want iPlayer to fully load up and then to minimize once it's fully loaded up. It normally loads up in just a couple of seconds, so delay task for 30 seconds should be okay. If you have any problems, come back, change it to a minute, and that should be fine then. So uh, it's enabled, yep, that's fine. I don't want to repeat it, I only want it once at long on. Okay, so if you click OK on that, and you click on OK on that, and then you'll have yourself a nice little task there that when the computer loads, it'll shut down or minimize iPlayer quite nicely for you. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Just create that and, you know, it's, it's, you're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.